Hey guys, I've received a lot of questions regarding the RCBS 9mm bullet cedar and crimping die. Let's get to it. First off, I'd like to talk about the anatomy of the bullet cedar and crimping die. The die itself will be providing the crimp. The bullet cedar plugs will be pushing the bullets in to the case. This is for round nose and this is for flat. Today we'll be using a 115 grain round nose projectile. So I'll go ahead and screw this into the die just a couple of turns just to get started. So this process is a little bit confusing. It took me a little bit of time to wrap my head around it. So I'm gonna take this nice and slow. So first off, I'm gonna take my case uh, that I've already flared or belled. Um, so the projectile will snap into place. See, it won't fall out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place this case into my shell holder. Per the instructions, you should have it primed and charged with your powder already. That way you don't have to uh, remove the, the projectile later, but this is demonstration purposes only, so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm gonna run the ram all the way up to the top. I'm going to screw the die down until I touch the mouth of the case. Once I feel it touch the mouth of the case, I'm gonna turn it back one full turn and lock the locking nut. Now you're ready to seat the bullet. Now taking the case and placing the projectile into the case, snapping it into place. Now we're ready to seat the bullet. Before seating the bullet, we wanna make sure that the bullet seating plug is turned all the way up. All we're doing right now is just getting our depth correct. Once this is up, then I place the shell back into the shell holder. I run it up all the way and I turn my bullet cedar plug down until I feel it touch the projectile. Now I'm gonna lower the ram, turn this down, raise the ram, and I'm gonna do this incrementally until the bullet or projectile is seated to the appropriate depth into the case. So now that we have it seated to the appropriate depth, now we have to crimp, if you're going to crimp. First, we are going to screw, unscrew the bullet cedar plug all the way up again. Now we're going to be working on the crimp. So I'm going to loosen my locking nut. My bullet cedar plug is all the way up, so it won't push down when I'm turning the die down. Turning the die down will provide the crimp. So place your appropriately sized cartridge into the shell holder. You're gonna run this up Screw the die down until you feel a little bit of tension. You're gonna lower it, turn it, the die down. Yeah, maybe just a little, little bit more of a crimp, so I'll turn this down. Now 
Now I have the crimp right where I like it. So I'm good with where it's at for crimping. So what I'll do is I'll hold the die, lock the locking nut. So we know that the die is set to do the crimp. Now what we want to do is make sure that the bullet seating is appropriate. So we're going to run the ram all the way up to the top. We're going to screw the bullet seating plug until it touches the top of the projectile. And now we know that each time you run a case with a projectile through this, it will provide the crimp at the same time as it's pushing the projectile into the case mouth. So if I have my die set up correctly, this should work flawlessly each time I go to reload. So I'm going to place the projectile into the case, place the case into the shell holder. I'm gonna run it up to the top of the ram. And now I have a fully seated and crimped cartridge. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you next time.